Hi guys, my name is 3D Hero, and in the up and coming DLC for Beyond Light, many players will be looking at fully optimising their gear and loadouts to take on the new and very challenging content to come, with most players already having a loadout in mind that are going to be used on day one. With that being said, there is a perk that players should keep an eye out for when heading into Beyond Light, and that is the Distribution Break perk, a new but very beneficial perk that can make taking on certain types of enemies a hell of a lot more easier in the long run. Now some of you here may have already heard of the perk from other YouTubers, but for those that haven't, the Disruption Break perk can provide a whopping 50% damage buff to all kinetic weapons, if you destroy enemy shield with the perk for a few seconds. 50% is a lot for weapon buff that only lasts for a few seconds, but 50% is 50%, and it's not something worth sleeping on, which is why it's very important for you to go out and try and get a weapon that can roll with this perk. It can also, interestingly, work on the barrier champions with their anti-barrier mods, allowing you to easily melt through these enemies in literal seconds. Since the perk mainly rolls on secondary weapons, it would be in your best favour to pick a weapon that hits hard and can strip an enemy shield down within a matter of seconds, and ideally you're going to go for a weapon that powers well with a kinetic of choice. A popular and rising weapon to choose would be the Truth Teller Grenade Launcher from this season, which can potentially roll a spike grenade, fill prep, and disruption break puck all in one. Considering that Mountain Top is soon to be sunsetted, this is the next weapon you should be going for as a replacement and the ideal role to have if you wish to make use of the perk, but still do great amount of damage. Follow up wise, the Akilos shotgun is a good weapon to use as well, as is a rapid fire frame, which means it fires in full auto and can reload much quicker when all ammo is used. Unfortunately, perk wise, the majority of his perks aren't that great, with perhaps Feed and Frenzy and Threat Detector being the best choice to pick for the weapon. Of course, there are plenty more to pick and play around with, as what I've just mentioned is just the two upcoming weapons that many people will most likely opt into. But of course, all this means nothing if we don't have a preferred kinetic weapon that benefits from it the most. Shotguns and sidearms will be the most noticeable and commonest weapons to behold when using the perk as they can either hit hard and down targets within a hit or two, or hit fast and quick with less round involved. The Bastion Fusion Rifle is a great one to use considering it fires 3 rounds at its target for a price of 1, which is very powerful for taking on the biggest shielded enemies in game. The new sidearm, Traveller's Chosen, has a distinct feel to it when combined with the weapon, as that extra damage increases can go a long way in terms of getting your stacks up and running. In fact, this should be the main loadout to use when pairing the perk with the Traveller's Chosen, considering that they both play very well into each other's strengths. To be very honest, the pairing you do with perk heavily depends on what content you wish to run it in, as the bonus you will get will only make the most sense if it's paired with a specific weapon that flows perfectly for them, such as a kinetic AR and grenade launcher with a DB perk. These two combos now show that you are able to cover mid to long ranges with the pair, and they can see that keeping range but consistent damage. Or the opposite can be to use a connected sidearm with a fusion rifle with a DB perk. This combo on the other hand will allow you to close the gap and focus on taking out shielded enemies quickly before becoming overwhelmed and vice versa. The perk, although short in duration, is worth having or simply investing in for the near future of Destiny as the game continues to grow with new adversaries to face. You're always going to be in a situation where you need to face against a shielded enemy and we don't know what type of enemy we will face that will require us to quickly disperse them before they get even more powerful. And yes, using exotics such as the Tractor Cannon or the subclass debuffs will still have a place in endgame like always. But in case things don't go the way that you wish, it's always nice to have a weapon with the Disruption Break perk freely available, especially as a new raid may require more precise damage to be conducted on your end to benefit everyone, not just you. So that is the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed that very short segment of a breakdown of a perk that you should go ahead and give a try out on. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub. Also, follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content. If you did that type of stuff, link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys in the next one.